Uh, would you like some nice ISIS fighters? Yeah. If you look at this, you, you can take everyone you want. <laughs> Let's be serious. Uh, the very large number of fighters you have on the ground are as the fighters coming from Syria, from Iraq, and the region. It is true that you have foreign fighters coming from Europe, but this is a tiny minority of the overall problem we have in the region. And I think number one priority, because it's not yet finished, is to get rid of ISIS and these terrorist groups. This is our number one priority. And it's not yet done. I'm sorry to say that. Yes, you still have fighters in this region, in Syria and now in Iraq, and more and more. And the whole destabilization of the region makes the situation more difficult to fix the situation against ISIS. Second, some of these foreign fighters are being judged in Iraq because of the deeds uh, precisely uh, 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 they acted in this, uh, in this very region. And we will have a case-by-case -case approach. We have a humanitarian approach for children, already organized, and we will have a case-by-case -case approach. But for me, the very first objective in the region is to finish war against ISIS. And, and, and don't, don't make any mistake, your number one problem are not the foreign fighters. This is the ISIS fighters in the region. And you have more and more of these fighters due to the situation today. This is why he's a great politician, because that was one of the greatest non-answers I've ever heard. <laughs> and that's okay.